one of the things that I do every week, I usually like to do it on Saturday. I learned this from Paul is go and spend a little time yourself and get ready for the week. So that means kind of journaling out your trades or your thoughts or your business plan, whatever it might is. And so I use this uh, Sunrise uh, Manifesto. It's pretty cool. You can do really a lot of stuff with it, and it's kind of like a guided journaling. So, like, it'll ask you questions and stuff like that. And so, you got some cool things here, like, uh, they'll have in there. And so, like, three things I'm grateful for, blah, 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 if I could complete three tasks. And then it's got just, like, this thing where you kind of just throw all your thoughts into it. So, you can see, like, I'll be, like, just nonstop, just kind of writing things down. And I like to do this. I do this... I do this every day, but um, I do a big one on Saturdays and really get myself ready and kind of think about like the three to five tasks that are going to be really important to accomplish next week. One of the things that happens with to-do lists and checklists, I think, is that you just fucking get a hundred things on there and it just becomes this thing where your life becomes going task to task, you know, a mission to mission. And I don't like doing that. I like to be a big picture thinker and then hire people to do tasks, right? And so as a CEO of a business, my job is to promote a vision and culture and coach people and mentor people and then relay resources to get things done properly. And so really coming in and, and kind of mapping it out of like, what do I want to get done? You know, where and how do I want to accomplish this? Uh, I think is huge. And so I like to kind of come and uh, sit outside and, you know, they have like some really cool chairs in here. Uh, this is a restaurant bar that I've actually been coming to for, uh, this would be my fifth year coming down here. And so uh, it's pretty incredible. And they have in Costa Rica, literally like a hundred of these, but uh, this is one of my favorite because the Wi-Fi is good. Uh, the wine is cheap. And they've got a great ceviche that won't make you sick. I've been to a couple places where you get a little, not food poisoning, but you think you got food poisoning kind of thing. Uh, the food is really good here. And so I come here and think about it and I game plan stuff beyond just trading. You know, that's how you got to think about this stuff is just, you know, your trading is one facet of your life. But you are the CEO of your life and the CEO of your trading business. And they're all interconnected. And so you really need to dig down into not just what you need to accomplish during the trading week and your goals, but more importantly, the different things that happen in your life, um, they will impact your trading more than actually sitting there looking at uh, chart setups and stuff like that. You know, in the end, look, we're all looking at the same damn chart patterns, right? Everybody knows what a flag is. Everybody knows what a base is and a pullback is. Uh, none of that stuff means anything. We all trade the same stuff. How do you go and get your brain ready to trade the stuff that you know that you see? Because we all can see it, yet very few people make money in trading. Why? Because it's the rest of it that has to be right to make money as a trader.